what's up youtube it's jason here from westwood bonza and today's video is all going to be about the placement of your bonza let's get started right so the first thing that i'm going to be covering with you guys today in terms of placement of your bonsai is that i'm really going to encourage you to leave your bonsai outside bonsais do prefer being outside as they prefer going through the elements through spring, through autumn, through winter, through summer. They prefer that, and it's better for their homeostasis. And also it's to ensure that they get the right amount of sunlight. Um, yeah, they, they prefer being outside. Um, that's not to say that your bonsai can't live inside, but there are, specific, um, there are specific things that you need to follow if you are going to keep your bonsai inside. Right, so the first thing that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today, and it is the most important thing of this video, is to make sure that your bonsai is getting an adequate amount of sunlight. So the, recommend, the recommended amount of sunlight that your bonsai should be getting is between 5 to 6 hours of sunlight. I know it might seem like a lot, but as any other plant or tree, it needs to create, it needs to go through photosynthesis to make its energy, to make its food. And this five to six hours of sunlight will ensure that it gets an adequate amount of energy to stay fit, strong, and healthy. So yeah, five to six hours of sunlight a day. Personally, what I like to do is I like to have my bonsais east facing so they get a bunch of morning sun. I like morning sun as it is not so harsh. Um, and I think the bonsais prefer it a bit more as seen in this video. Now that's not to say that your bonsai can't get afternoon sun. Your bonsai can definitely get afternoon sun, but there's one or two things to remember if you are going to give your bonsai afternoon sun. Know that afternoon sun is a lot more harsh and it can be a bit more damaging to your plants if your plant is not treated right. So know that if your bonsai is going to get afternoon sun, make sure that you're giving it an adequate amount of water. Um, if your bonsai gets afternoon sun and you don't give it enough water, what can start to happening is you can get scars on your leaves. That's right, your bonsai, your bonsai leaves can get sunburn. <laughs> I know that might seem quite strange, but this can occur if your plant does get afternoon sun and you don't give it enough water. So make sure that if it is getting enough water, or it is getting afternoon sun, that it's getting enough water. Right. Now I'm going to be going over some things that can happen to your bonsai if it does not get enough sunlight. So the first thing that starts happening is that your bonsai starts to wilter, become weak and become fragile. This happens because it doesn't have enough energy, it doesn't have enough sunlight to create or go through the process of photo photosynthesis. Hard word, I know that, but we all know it. So make sure that your bonsai is getting direct sunlight and know that this can happen if your bonsai doesn't get enough sunlight. Another thing that starts to happen is that if it doesn't get enough direct sunlight, it can become more susceptible to pests and diseases. Because it's wiltering and it's weak, because it doesn't have enough energy, it's more susceptible for a bug or a fungus or some kind of disease to come along and affect it and will most likely kill it. Right, and then the next thing I'm going to be speaking to you about is some tips in terms of keeping your bonsais um, in specific places and things to avoid when placing your bonsai. The first thing is extreme heat. Make sure that you are not pl placing your bonsai next to an extreme heat. For example, next to an open fire like your braai or in your house next to your fireplace or an oven or your stove. That extreme change in rapid change of, of heat will stress your bonsai out and it'll most likely cause it to die. So make sure it's not next to extreme heat. Another thing is to make sure that it's not exposed to extreme winds. Wind outside is obviously perfectly fine, but the extreme wind that I'm talking about is directly in front of a fan or the extractor fan for your air conditioner. Any serious amount of wind that is gonna be constantly blowing onto your bonsai is detrimental to its health. The reason why is because extreme winds can dry out your bonsai very rapidly and change its surrounding environment which can cause it to stress out, lose its leaves and possibly die. 
So make sure where you are planting your, placing your bonsai, that you are trying to avoid this extreme heat and the extreme excessive um, wind. Right, and then the last thing that I'm going to be leaving you with today um, is a little tip. Then that tip is make sure that you are not moving your bonsai to different places all the time. Try and find a place where your bonsai is going to be easy for you to water it, where it's going to be getting enough sunlight, and where it's not in those extreme heats and extreme winds. Find that place and leave it there. I would understand why people would want to move their bonsais, especially people that keep their bonsais indoor. They want their bonsais to be outside and get some more sunlight and then bring it back inside. I understand that, but like I spoke about in the beginning of the video, try to keep your bonsais outside. They really do prefer it. But yeah, so once you've found a place for your bonsai, try to keep it there. That change of environment from being outside and then going back inside and outside and back inside can cause your plant to stress out causing its, leave, uh, its leaves to fall off, watering, and just all around stress. So make sure that you find a nice place for your bonsai and keep it there. Right, I hope this video, guys, helped you out a lot and you learned something new today about the placement of your bonsais. Please don't be shy to comment stuff down below. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer any, any of your questions. And yeah, like I said, I hope this video today, if you today gave you a bit of clarity about where to keep your bonsais and things to look out for thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one and as always keep growing cheers guys